Abortion's a real fun topic you can really bring to any table. For example, Congress has a bill in there right now having to do... Well, one of the things in the bill is that they will specifically fund wild horse abortions. Now, if you ask me, this is an ethical dilemma. Humans have been raging for centuries on the ethics of human abortion, so why do we think it's okay to just go into wild horse populations messing with the system of the environment, what we say all the time we should not be doing, and going in and killing a mare's child right out from inside it? That sounds disgusting, even for me, as much of an animal rights activist as I am. Where is PETA on this issue? They're willing to compare the daily proceedings of KFC to the Holocaust. It seems like they've got to have something to say on this idea. Moving right over from Aquinas to homos, here's something about human abortion. Some people say that life begins at fertilization, but even after the egg is fertilized, it still takes six or seven days for the egg to move around the uterus and pregnancy to finally begin. Moreover, the human pregnancy rate is less than 20% meaning that over 80% of fertilized eggs are actually just discarded out once a month onto cute little vagina sticks and sanitary napkins so we can flush them down the toilet. On a side note, I think tampons smell absolutely great. I mean, I think I should stop wearing deodorant and start wearing tampons. I uh, don't mean the used ones, even though... People say that life begins at conception, but no. Life is a continuous process that started about a billion years ago, just like life, the universe, and everything. It all equals 42, and it all means the same thing. Really, when you die, it's that's part of the illusion, kinda. I mean, as soon as humans reach the age of biological adulthood, about 12, when you're physically able to make more of yourself, we have this thing going on, the gears are spinning in our head, how, thinking, how can we fill the world with little copies of me. Is it really death if all you've left behind is more of you? This is why we're here. We're, we're still here. We're all just flowing up and down the river. I mean, I'm getting all Buddhist with you here. Hindu, Zen, I don't know. Really what this pro-life logic is telling us is that every woman who's ever had a period is actually having an abortion, meaning that she's actually a serial killer. But that's okay, because thou shall kill, because everything must eat everything else. And I say thou shall lust after thy neighbor, because it is in our genes to want to unzip their genes and share our enzymes. I forgot what I was going to say in this section. Hmm. I'll just say something else. You know, you know what? The word structure of abortion confuzzles me. I mean, when you think of abor, A-B-O-R, I think of aboreal, meaning describing trees. So is does abortion have something to do with describing trees? T-I-O-N implies that this is the noun version of the idea. So technically wouldn't abortion mean tree? 